Hello, I'm Jay Lee. And I can't be the only person who feels like that sometimes. Like I am the only sane person in an insane world. And it just makes me feel like... Honestly, does it feel like sometimes you are the only sane person around? Or everyone else just feels like... Or maybe life just wants to make you feel like... Yeah, you got you. Maybe you have some friends who just bring you down and they don't even know it. Or more than likely, you're in a bad situation and some bad events just piled on top of you. What can we do to remain positive when we're surrounded by all this negativity? You avoid getting shot in real life all the time, Morty. Just do the same thing here and we'll be fine. Just avoid it? Of course! Wow, that's so simple! Oh man! Huh, usually these videos last a little longer. Cool! Cool! I think, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go start my car, go down to a bank, and get my work schedule for a week. Have a good one, guys! So my car broke down, I haven't been paid yet, and I just found out I'm working with that lazy guy all week. So maybe just avoiding negativity is not the answer that we want. So how do we keep positive when we are in the worst of it? Well, we can't. In that moment of terror, pure fear, where you are completely powerless, you're not going to be wondering how to be positive, no matter how to get out of that situation. This is totally okay. It is alright to get out of the situation as badly as you can, and get out of trouble while the trouble's still going on. You're gonna be freaking out in a moment of panic and the moment of terror and that is all right what matters is how you respond afterwards <laughs> in that moment of terror pure fear you're going to be rendered powerless and yes you can be rendered completely powerless. It can happen. There are forces greater than you, and there are going to be moments where you may be unable to do anything. And this is alright. But there, don't we manifest our own reality? This is sort of a stigma in the manifestation laws of attraction community. Because if we create our own reality, then obviously we attracted our own suffering. So any suffering upon us is our fault, right? This is not always the case. The truth is, is that, that everything in this world has an influence on reality. This can be from the biggest ant to the smallest mountain. Especially those mutant ants that are big as mountains. But because everything has a varying degree of influence, there are moments where you could be just powerless in a situation. This doesn't mean you attracted it directly to you, or that you really brought it upon yourself. But because influence can shift at any time, all situations are unique. This is why we must examine each situation individually and why it is alright to reflect back on a situation and see that maybe we weren't at fault or maybe we had some fault or maybe we were totally at fault. There are going to be moments and times where you may not have been at fault for this. But to look back and see that you are powerless is to mean that you have power now. And even in the future, 
Even if the future is holding trouble, you have power now. And now is what matters. What do I do? What do I do? In the name of God, you've got to tell me! Okay. Obviously, freaking out is going to get you nowhere. What it will do, however, what it can do, is it can help release any emotional energy you have. Which is why venting can be helpful at times. However, if you want to get through a negative situation, there is only one thing that can truly help you. Your beliefs. The very reason why we cultivate spiritual knowledge and a spiritual understanding is so we can have the beliefs that will help us get through a tough times. This is why it helps to believe in a god or believe in the universe or something greater than yourself so it can carry you through these tough times. Flanders to God, Flanders to God, get off your cloud and save my Todd! Okay, maybe a hand of God won't come down and help you during the tough times, but a belief in something greater than yourself helps you to become a better person, motivates you to be a better person, and motivates you to get through these tough times. Now I can hear all the atheists saying, There is no God. Why did I pick that movie? I hate that movie. Anyways, your beliefs should be there to help you. And if they help you and harm no one, why would it be bad to have? Now sure, some beliefs can be based on experience and reality and facts. But the truth is, ultimately, a belief should be there to aid you. Why would it be there to harm you? You may have heard of the pessimistic atheists who just seem so down all the time. But on the other side of the coin, there is this fanatical fundamentalist who sees anything in f anything that challenges their religion as a threat. Get out of here. In reality, these two kinds of people are just on different ends of the same spectrum. You don't want to be closed-minded to a point where anything new is a threat to you. But, you don't want to be swept up in a dogma that it comes to a point where anything new is a threat to you. I don't understand evolution and I have to protect my kids from understanding it. To have a belief get you through the tough times, it must be armed with knowledge and an understanding. And it may not just be on blind faith alone. You must be able to fall back on it when you need to. But it is only during the not so rough times, the everyday struggle, that we must start cultivating these beliefs. We must start bringing out these positive beliefs within us. Because when the bad times come, we're gonna want to be prepared. <laughs> Your beliefs will ultimately dictate how you act, how you respond to a situation, and ultimately who you are. If you want to be positive in a negative world, you gotta believe that you can be positive. You gotta believe that you can overcome it. And you gotta believe you can change it. But before you can overcome it, before you can change it, you gotta start believing. I'm J. Lewis. Thank you. Poor radiator fluid and
to the engine. Huh. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh, come on!